Just finished up making programs. Yesterday I've been making programs for like 10 hours or like <laughs> the whole day basically and today I've also been making a few programs for some of my friends. However today we've got really heavy squat and bench press. I'm gonna bench heavier than I've actually ever benched in my life come stand out. So really really excited for that. So I am at Dita's place because she has went to Germany for a week. So I will take care of the chunks. They are really chunky and cute. Now we're gonna go train and we're gonna squat a single at 232 and bench with two singles at 172. All right, boys, we're in the gym. And since Ivan Jurek started doing daily uploads again, I've been watching all his videos and I really wanted to try his uh, jumping warm-up thing before squats. I also did this last week and it went pretty good, so maybe it worked, I don't know. But I'm gonna warm up to around 60 kg, see how that feels, maybe 100 kg, then do the jumping and then see how it feels. Let's go! I actually have three different singlets and one of them I only use for special occasions, which is today. When it's getting real heavy and I'm gonna do something actually pretty crazy, I use my new Titan singlet. It's actually so tight that I think it might give me, give me like two and a half kg on the squat or deadlift. The other Titan singlet that I have, my first one, it uh, it is no longer comp legal because it's so broken and used up. That's why I only use this in special occasions because I don't want it to break into pieces. So that's why I normally use my SPD singlet, which is very loose and not so tight, and the fabric is like so soft compared to the Titan, which is really like hard and actually has resistance in it. So we use this for regular training and this for heavy training. Also, I always squat in knee sleeves. So I think I'm just gonna go up to 60 kg and see how that feels because I don't wanna jump with knee sleeves. Because that's super awkward. Gonna go to 60 kg, see how that feels, then do the jumping, and then do 60 kg again after that without knee sleeves and see how it feels. So I guess I'll use my somewhat normal stance for squatting when doing the jumpings. I'm just gonna do three sets of three here. So I don't really know if this worked for me feeling really better. Even Jurek says that he felt super poppy or super strong after doing this and the bath felt very light. I don't know, to me, I just had a like a normal good day this day. So I don't know what there is to it. It could also be that he squats high bar, A2G, uh, close stains, nice squat, low bar, wide stains, just below parallel. But it was still like an above average day and it's actually moved pretty nice all of the lifts here. My squad has been pretty bad this entire prep for nationals. First week I did like 1205 for some singles and it was insanely heavy, like RP 9.5 or 10 or something. And then that gave me fatigue for next week where I moved all the way to super slow there as well. But last week I did 225 and moved quite a bit better. And this week I'm gonna do, well I did 232 and it moved the same speed as 225. So actually pretty good. Now for bench press, as I mentioned, I had two singles at 172.5, which is heavier than I've ever done. So actually pretty good, but I had a pretty average slash below average day for the bench press. No, None of the weights here moved super easy. 140 has definitely moved better and 160 has 100% moved better than this. When I did the 160 for five, it moved way easier. Um, however, I still managed to get the 172.5. As you can see here, first one was like pretty good, but with a bit too short pause. Uh, second one was a bit better pause, but um, there wasn't butt lift, but there was like the temptation of getting a butt lift, which means I pretty 
a bad leg drive in my opinion. Decent for bench press, taking everything in consideration. And here I did some accessories with cable rows, with just some pumpings for the upper back and lats. And then I did skull crushers, where I actually hit a pretty big PR with 40 kg for two sets of eight. This is the first set you're seeing here. And right now, it might be a coincidence, but I have zero elbow problems with the squat and bench press, which I've had many times before. But I feel like when I'm pushing the skull crushers, I have no elbow problems in the squat and bench press. So that's mainly why I'm doing it.